What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a LinkedIn job scraper workflow in NA10. Let's get started. To scrape jobs from LinkedIn, I'm going to use this tool called Appify. Appify is an incredible tool that you can use to scrape any website and automate each project. So go ahead and create an account on Appify. And after creating an account on Appify, head over to Appify store. Yeah, we're going to search for the website that we'd like to scrape. In our case, we'd like to scrape LinkedIn. I would like to scrape jobs. So I'll search for LinkedIn job scraper. Then click on search. Here you can see we have over 52 tools that we can use to scrape LinkedIn jobs. Over here. I'm going to use this first tool over here. So I'll open it. So this is the tool that we like to use, use to scrape LinkedIn jobs. So here we're going to add our job title, for example, automation specialist. You can add job location. You can also specify the company name or the company ID right here. For the published ad date, you can choose to filter either by any time, past month, past week, or past 24 hours. You can add the total number of jobs that you like to scrape and scrape 10 jobs. Yeah, you can either choose on-site, remote, or hybrid jobs. For the job type, you can either choose full-time, part-time, contract, temporary, internship, or volunteer. I'm going to leave it as empty. And for the experience level, you can choose internship, entry level, associate, mid-senior level, or director level. In our case, I'm going to leave all these as empty and only add the job title right here, location, and the number of jobs that we would like to scrape. Now to scrape automation jobs in the United States. Using our tool, I'm going to click on start. You can see that our tool is running. It's started the crawler. It's getting our data. Here you can see our tool succeeded in scraping 10 LinkedIn jobs for us. Over here, got a total of 10 automation specialist jobs. So here, we're getting the title of the jobs location of the job, posted time, published at the job URL, the company name that posted the job, company URL, the description of the job, application count, employee type, seniority level, job function, the industry, company in, company ID, and the URL to apply for the job. Now to get these jobs, I'm going to click on API right here. Here I'm going to choose get data set item, and I'll copy this link over here. And then in any 10 we have created a workflow that I've renamed to LinkedIn Job Scraper. Here, I'm going to search for HTTP, then click on HTTP request node. And then now to get the jobs that we scraped here, 2010. Here, we're going to add the link that we just copied, and then click on test step. Now, here, you can see the 10 jobs that we just scraped using our tool. The first one was this one over here. This is the, this is the second one, the third one over here. The fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth over here. So these are the ten jobs that we just scraped. And you can see here we got a total of ten items. So we got a total of ten jobs that we scraped. So here we're getting the title of the job, job URL, company name, company URL, location, posted time, application type, description, contract type, experience level, work type, sector, the URL to apply for the job, and the description in HTML format. Here. This is awesome. Now to scrape the jobs automatically without having to add our data set ID right here. On Appify documentation, when you scroll down below, it says run Agra synchronously with input data and get data set item. Yeah, I'm going to copy the C URL over here. Then go back to our workflow. Yeah, I'm going to click on import C URL and paste our C URL over here and click on import. Yeah, we'll add our actual ID over here, API key, and JSON over here in order to scrape our jobs automatically in an agent. We're going to start by adding our actual ID over here. So I'll go back to our tool and click on our tool over here. To get this actor's ID, in our URL, I'm going to copy this unique ID. Then go back to our workflow and paste our unique ID over here. The next thing we're going to add is our API token over here. So we'll click on expression. Then we can expand this to add our API token over here. Now to get our API token, on Appify, I'm going to click on settings. And then I'll click on API and integrations. Then here, you can create a new token over here, give it a description, and then click on create. Since I already created an API token, I'm going to copy it over here. Then we're going to place the API token over here. Remember to not add a space over here at the end and then i'll go back and here for the body content type i'm going to choose json i'm going to specify the body 
to using JSON, and then here we'll add our JSON. To get our JSON, in our tool it says manual and JSON, click on JSON. Then here we're going to copy our JSON over here. So I'll copy it, then paste our JSON right here. Which is awesome, so we are scraping automation specialist jobs from LinkedIn, I would like 10 of them in the United States. And then I'm going to leave everything as is. And now to scrape our LinkedIn jobs in any 10, I'm going to click on test step. And this is executing our node. And when we go to our tool and click on runs, you can see over here it's running because we ran it from any 10 over here. So let's give it a few seconds for you to scrape our automation jobs from LinkedIn in any 10. You can see it was a success. Here we got 10 items. To take a look at the jobs that we just scraped, here are the 10 jobs. You can see the titles over here. So I'll need to scroll it down below. You can see over here we're getting the 10, we're getting the automation specialist jobs. It's scraped for us over here. So these are the jobs. They went ahead and scraped for us over here. Which is awesome. So we got a total of 10 jobs right here. So we can rename this to LinkedIn Job Scraper. Since we are scraping jobs from LinkedIn in any 10, you can see we got a total of 10 jobs right here. Now, after scraping our jobs from LinkedIn, we can go ahead and add the jobs, jobs to a Google spreadsheet. So on Google Sheet, I've created a spreadsheet that I've renamed to LinkedIn Scrape Jobs. And then on this spreadsheet, I've created a sheet that I've renamed to LinkedIn Jobs. And here's where we're going to add our jobs after we scrape them from LinkedIn using a workflow. Here we're going to add the title of the job, company name, employment type, industry, job function, description of the job in the job URL over here. Now to add our jobs to this spreadsheet, I'll go back to our workflow and here I'm going to search for Google Sheet. Click on Google Sheets. Here I'll click on append row in a sheet. Here you'll need to create a credential by clicking on create a new credential. Here I'll click on sign in with Google. Then on the new window that pops up, choose the account that you'd like to connect to any time. Since I had already created my credential, I'm going to close this. Choose my credential right here. Then I'm going to choose our document, our spreadsheet, which is the LinkedIn script jobs. And then here I'm going to choose our sheet. And then here I'm going to choose LinkedIn jobs sheet. And then here we're going to add values to our columns in our spreadsheet from the data that we scraped in LinkedIn. So for the title, I'm going to add the title of our job. I'm going to drag the title right here. And I'm going to drag the company name right here. For the employment type or the contract type, I'm going to drag the contract type over here. Industry, I'm going to drag the sector over here. For the job function, I'm going to drag the work type right here. The description, I'm, I'm going to drag the description right here. The job URL, I'm going to drag the job URL right here. You can add more columns to a spreadsheet, then map the data to a spreadsheet over here, like I just did. Now, to add our job that we just scraped to a spreadsheet, I'm going to click on test step. You can see we added our 10 jobs right here. So, we added the title of the job, company name, employment type, industry, job function, description of the job URL, and we added the 10 jobs to a spreadsheet right here. I did a total of 10 jobs over here using our workflow. And then here, I rename this to LinkedIn Jobs. Then click on Rename. When we open our spreadsheet. You can see the jobs that we just created from LinkedIn over here. We added them to our spreadsheet over here. You can see the title of the jobs, company name, employment type, the industry, the company's in, job function, the description of the job. You can see the very huge job description over here for each and every single job. And the job URL over here, in case you'd like to apply for the job. So we've added this job to a spreadsheet using the simple workflow that we created right here in any time. Now to see how our automation works here, we can try to scrape different jobs. For example, we can scrape web developer jobs instead of automation specialist jobs. So I'll search for web developer jobs. Same one, we can say can change the location to United Kingdom here yeah. and scrape web 10 web developer jobs from the UK. Now to scrape the jobs, I'm going to click on back to canvas and then click on test the workflow. Our workflow ran successfully. Yeah, we succeeded in scraping 10 web developer jobs in the UK. So the first job 
First job was a front-end developer with Python. You can see the location is there. Okay. And when you scroll down below, you can see a total of 10 jobs over here. This one was a front-end software engineer job in the UK right here. So we created a total of 10 items. Then we added the jobs to our spreadsheet. Now when we open our spreadsheet, you can see we added an extra 10 jobs right here. So let us add we need to insert a row above to separate the two, two runs. So the first one we're looking for automation specialists. The second one we're looking for web developer jobs. So this is the title of the jobs, company name, employment type, the industry, job function, the description of the job. You can see the entire job description over here. And then we are adding the job URL over here in case you like to apply for the job. We scraped these LinkedIn jobs and added the jobs to our spreadsheet using our simple workflow that I've created in any 10. So here, we are scraping LinkedIn jobs using this tool called Appify. Over here, this is the tool that we're using to scrape our, to scrape jobs from LinkedIn. Over here, we're adding our actor ID, API token, the title, location, and the number of jobs that we'd like to scrape right here. And then after scraping the jobs using our tool on Appify, we are adding the jobs to a spreadsheet the spreadsheet is similar to this one here, where we're adding the title, company name, employment type, industry, job function, description, and job URL over here, using the simple workflow that I've created in any 10 right here. Now, if you have a workflow or an AI agent that you'd like for me to create using any 10, just comment down below in the comment section. If I land on your comment and I find it intriguing, I'll come back on a future video showing you how to create the entire workflow or AI agent from scratch using any 10. But for now, Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.